someone actually transitioning from one sport to another. Uh, big news in the rugby world, in the NFL world. Uh, Louis Rezemit is a Welsh rugby star that has been signed by the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. He is a running back, officially labeled as a running back, as he tries to make the transition from rugby to the NFL. A lot of similarities in these two sports, but obviously when it comes to the NFL, it's very hard to transition from another sport to this one because it is so specialized in terms of the skill set. And you're talking about kids that play 7v7 when they're in Pee Wee and Pop Warner trying to adjust and uh, assimilate to a sport that you've never really played professionally. But this will be a very, very fun uh, signing and see how this thing plays out because he's got the speed, he's got the capabilities, and he's on a team that could, if they know what to do, the Chiefs, is they know how to use speed with Patrick Mahomes. So this one will be really fun to watch. But I'm very curious for y'all thoughts uh, when y'all heard this news and the possibilities of a rugby star going to the NFL. Yeah. It's, it's pretty unprecedented. Yeah, I think when we do hear about athletes from other sports going to the NFL, it's on the kicking side, right? Yes. And something that's like such a specialty. But Soccer he, players being kickers or punters. Right. Aussie rule football players who are punters now, which is very common in college and right. the NFL. But that's it. And he's a running back. Yeah. So he's going to have to, but I don't know. I'm not so familiar with rugby. I know that it's a very violent sport, as is football. So maybe the transition won't be as tough for him as maybe we might expect because they don't wear pads like football players as well. However, not wearing pads also makes you feel a little faster, you know? So there's going to be, I think the the training level might be a shock because going into any new sport or even when we talk about athletes from college going to pros, the transition is the level of training, the amount of games, the intensity, the travel, that sort of thing. So I think that maybe that will hit him a little bit harder than actually transitioning into the sport itself. Because at that position, it's probably similar to what he was doing in I, rugby. I can see that because he probably yeah. was an outside guy and it's very similar to running back where you just, you know, you're getting a toss or you're right. getting the ball and you're reading defenders and you've, you've got 11 on the other side. So yeah. I, I could see the similarities in that. Um, I do agree with you on the helmet stuff and, and all the weights and the pads. You'd be surprised, like, how much just putting on a helmet changes your running form and how you feel when you're, you're going. Or your, your frame your of view, like, your peripheral yeah. views. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's really blinders going on when you're trying to have a helmet on um, that's very different in a situation compared to rugby players. Uh, you know, I love the NFL. I've, I've covered it now for over a decade. This is a sport, my favorite sport. This was my introduction to America, to be quite honest, as an immigrant kid. But my South African friends say the NFL is for cowards because of all the protection, the helmets and all that stuff. And rugby is the pure man sport. And I will say this. I, I watched uh, some rugby matches in South Africa when I was there a couple years ago. It's so much fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Springboks for winning the World Cup. Uh, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal contest. But in, in terms of, of rugby and NFL, have you watched much rugby? Yes, or? yes. Um, I've traveled over to uh, Australia when I was there for like 10 days. We watched a lot, a lot of rugby. And I think this guy's transition from rugby to the NFL, I think it's gonna be an easy transition. The reason why is because when you watch rugby, it's a lot of running. It's a lot of running and a gun. And it's like you, the ball drops, you're throwing it behind you, you, a lateral throw, you get it and you're running, you're trying to cut corners. So for him to take that transition to a running back, you think about it, you, you run it back, tailback, full back, depending on what the play is, if it's a, you know, a sweep to the, uh, the, the flats, or if I'm hitting one of the, uh, the gaps, they're gonna make that hole for him, right? So as long as he has the speed and he understands like the formation of how like I'm, you know, the cadence, blue, but two, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and just take off, he'll be fine. But I agree with Rachel, when you wear the helmet, the pads, the, the pads on your legs, that does, you know, kind of take away your mobility. But I'm assuming he'll be able to adapt very well because it's all about your eyes and how you track and know how the play is going to basically, um, what's, uh, how the play is going to form out. Is it tougher being on the Super Bowl champions? The, like, I think it's easier yeah, because they have the best of the best, right? They don't have, like, you always see, oh, man, they, they got a great quarterback, but the O-line can't defend him, so he can't actually make his reads, right? But they have a quarterback that can scramble, that can keep the play alive. They have a great O-line to create the, you know, the holes. You have the tight end. You have, uh, you know, Taylor Swift out there as well. <laughs> Travis so, Kelsey. I mean, <laughs> he, he has he, him for him going into his very first season in the NFL. He has a lot of things going well for him. He's not coming into a horrible O line. He's not coming into a quarterback who can't keep the play alive. So I think he's going to 
do very well and transition into football? I don't know. I, I might feel a little skeptical just because I've seen, not necessarily rugby players, but I've seen like um, players from other countries, like say Germany and stuff. Germany, huge NFL fan base there. Uh, and a lot of players are starting to come over, but they come over here, play on the practice squad, make some noise or whatever the case may be. And you don't hear much else from it. I'm hoping that's not the case here because I would love to see other players that can transition into the NFL and make it more of a global game, which I think the NFL is clearly trying to do with going to London, going to Brazil, going right. to Germany. This would be a great, great thing for the NFL. I just don't know if, if that's going to be the case. I just think the training is just going to be different. I think he's going to have to probably get stronger. I think we don't realize how much NFL players really put in time in the weight room and probably even more so – than rugby because rugby feels to be a little bit more of a an agility speed game it, it, whereas football you need both yeah. and to have both you need to be strong like very 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 strong um but also by the way if he doesn't play well the chiefs are not scared to not play players who aren't playing well we saw that seen, during yeah. playoffs yeah, you know what i mean he ball. will be sat so <laughs> <laughs> he'll have his chance but the chiefs also aren't gonna ride or die like lose a playoff game because their rugby player isn't doing well. You I will know? say this about rugby. The dudes in the middle. Oh, they're massive. Yeah. Stacked. <laughs> just meat slapping meat just in the middle there. Just, just, hug, on. just like, just in there, just in the scrums. <laughs> it is, that is something to behold. Uh, it, it is absolutely incredible. Um, but best of luck. Yeah. Luis. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out for you and, and hopefully things work out in the Kansas City Chiefs.